day has begun. Back on the road again. Torrential rain last night, but it's okay. Back to the coast. Day four, ready to get it. So this is day four of riding. Uh, last night we slept in a little town called Batano. Today we're riding from Batano to Carabalau, uh, if I'm saying that right, which is about 94 kilometers up the coast of the south side of Timor Leste. It's pretty cool on the south coast, there's not much development. It's literally just hundreds of kilometers of beachfront um, like this. So it bucketed down rain this morning when we got up. It probably rained all night, so there's a little bit of flooding around, but makes the weather nice and cool at least. We might get a bit of heavy rain later in the day but we'll just keep pressing on for now. goats avoiding the rain. See if he has hot water. Out into the rain. All right, let's go. I'm filming you. You're cool. I gotta follow you out there. Come on. second uh. hey good afternoon it's gonna get heavier again here soon it's gonna get heavy here soon Four. Can you try that bolt? Yeah. Have you got Allen keys? Yeah. Yeah, this one's um, <coughs> dense. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 the um cock if, if we can cross the river up ahead. Oh, oh I can't cross. Oh, oh this way. So not this way. We tried to cross three different points on the river and all three were cut. Maybe tomorrow morning we can cross the river and head on keep continuing. And my bike's falling apart but we'll figure something out. I love this orange. Mm. What do we want tomorrow? I say perhaps we do cross the river. Cross the river. When do we want to do it? 7am. Yeah. This guy offered um, to take our bikes across the already flooded river of, on a bamboo stick for cigarettes and we were almost considering doing it but then we thought no what if we lose our stuff or what if he falls in it was a pretty rapid current so we'll try it tomorrow morning this needs to be straight oh, no. 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 Some of the locals just helped us out immensely and fixed my bike pin here, so now we can continue the journey. So those two, those two black bags are what was attached to Brock's bike, and the pannier rack essentially holds those two bags on each side. One of the big bolts came loose the last two days of downhill craziness that we were doing coming off the mountain and my bags with like 30 kilos of luggage were just hitting the wheels and going crazy but luckily there was a mechanic just here and yeah he went over to his house and managed to find something that'll work and fix it up for us yeah there was about 10 people outside and we're all chatting about how it was broken it was raining really heavily and then we came in to have something to eat came outside and saw brock's bike was across and in fixed the in the neighbor's shed and, and, and the rack was fixed <laughs> Oscar fixed his bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a legend. So yeah, we've stranded in this small town where we couldn't cross a river, no prior plans, and we managed to find a guest house who made dinner for us, and then some locals who helped fix our broken shit. So it was just, yeah, amazing. Just so lucky. We'll go to sleep and start again in the morning. End of day four. We only managed about 40 something kilometers today. So tomorrow the plan is to get up early, have breakfast and pedal about six kilometers to the east and see if we can get across that river that we couldn't cross today. The guys seem optimistic we'll be able to cross in the morning. Yeah. They said if it stops raining, but it seems like it's still raining. Bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>